Okay, so now in this video, we will add some shooting to our police officer in order to kill our player. So for shooting, we will open up the police officer script and right here at the top where we have all of the variables inside this header, which is police shooting variable. Let's create a public float by the name of give damage of this will be the game damage which will the police give to the player and after this we will say public float shooting range this will be the shooting range of the player which will be 100 f then after this we need a reference to a point from which we will we will recast a shooting ray okay so we will name that as shooting Raycast area Then we need a public float by the name of time between shoot And then we need a bool by the name of Previously shoot And then write down below the wanted level script we need a reference to our player script as well so we will say public player script then right here in the start function after this uh, moving speed we will equal the player to game object dot find object of type and that type will be player so what this will do this will automatically assign the player script to this player reference right there after this in the update function we will say if and then let's just copy all of this line and paste it right here and now we will say that if the player is in the vision radius and also in the shooting radius and any of the wanted level star is active then what we will do we will call a function which will be by the name of shoot player you can name this function whatever you want and after naming it just simply copy it let's move down and after the chase player let's say public void shoot player in here we will create a raycast hit by the name of hit inside this hit we will store the information of whatever that raycast hit in the environment just as we, as we did for the shooting when we were adding shooting to our player okay so we will say physics dot raycast and we want to raycast from the shooting area raycast from that position and then we will say that in which direction we want to cast that ray for that we will type transform dot forward and whatever that ray cast hit we want to store all of that information in this hit ray cast hit variable then we want to restrict it by the shooting range of the police officer and we want to show whatever the police officer hit in the we want to show whatever the ray cast hit in the environment so we will say shooting And then we will say plus hit dot transform dot name we want to show the name of that object which the police officer will hit now as you know that the police officer will only shoot down the player if he commits any crime so we need a reference to our player script right here but if we check our player right here for the player we don't have any variables for the player health as you can see and also we don't have any function in order to damage the player so now let's allow the police officer to damage the player so for that we will open up the player script right here after this player movement we will create a new header by the name of player health things and in here we will create a private float by the name of player health 
and the player health by default will be equals to 200F. Then after this we will create another float by the name of present health. Then at the end right down below in the awake function we will say present health will be equals to the player health which is 200F. Then if we move down after the sprint function let's create a new function by the name of player hit damage and this player hit damage will be requiring a take damage float and whenever the player take the damage then we will say present health minus equals to take damage okay so for example if this police officer give damage is 3 then if it gives that damage to the player and then this take damage will be equals to 3 then the present health is 200 so 3 will be minus from the 200 after that we will check that if the present health is less than or equals to 0 then what we will do we will call a function which will be by the name of player die and let's create that player die function so we will say private void player die right here when the player die we will unlock the cursor first of all so we will say cursor dot lock state and it will be equals to cursor dot lock mode dot none and then down below we will simply destroy the player game object so we will say game object dot destroy game object and we want to destroy that game object after one second so we will say 1.0 f that is it now the our player will be able to take damage from the police officer and any other character in the environment now i will show you that how this police officer will damage our player so if we go inside the shoot player function now right here we will add a reference to our player script now so player script let's name this as player body and then this will be equals to hit dot transform dot cat component and we want to get the player script after this we will say if this raycast hit anything that contain the player script okay so for that we will just simply say player body is not equals to null so if it is not equals to null then we will say player body dot player hit damage now as you can see it is showing us the function name which we created player hit damage and as you can see it needs the take damage so right here we will pass the give damage of okay and this give damage of is 3 so this 3 will be passed to this take damage now the take damage value will be 3 and this 3 will be minus from the present health and as you know the present health is 200 f so give damage of and that is it now after this main if condition we will set the previously shoot to true because when this uh, shoot player is uh, shoot player function is called then it means that yes the police officer shoot so we will set this previously shot to true and after this we want to set it to false again in order for the player to shoot again so in order to make that false after this shoot player function we will create a private void by the name of active shooting and in here we will just simply say previously shoot equals to false okay now right in here what we will do 
at the top you will say that if the previously shot is false then we will allow the player to shoot again so add a main if condition right there and then inside this if condition all of these things will come inside of it that is it so if the previously shot is set to false then we will shoot and when we shoot we will set it to true and then right here we will set it to false again and after this previously shot we want to call the active shooting whenever this previously shot is set to true so for that we will say invoke name of the name is shooting active and we will activate by the time between shoot that is it now at the top we want that whenever the police officer is shooting we want to stop the police officer so for that we will say current moving speed will be equals to 0f and also we want the police officer to shoot in the direction of the player so for that we will say transform dot look at and we want to make the police officer to look at the player body dot transform and guys don't get confused this player body is the reference to our player body game object and then this player body is a reference to our player script okay these two are different things so once everything is done just click on the police officer right here you can see the moving speed everything else is assigned you can use the same values but it might be different for your own game so just make sure that you set this values that according to your own game in your own animations for example the moving animation for this police officer is a little bit slow so that's why the moving speed i kept it as 0.9 and as i told you you can change these values that according to your own need and then now right here it needs the shooting raycast area so for that in the police officer in here let's create an empty game object by the name of shooting area from this area the player the police officer will actually shoot the ray cast and then that ray cast will damage the player and let's make the time between shoot as one so after every one second the police officer will shoot and then make sure that your shooting area is right here okay move it to this position or to your rifle so that it gives the illusion that the police officer is firing from the rifle okay and make sure that it is outside the police body or else the ray cast will be then created inside the player body and it will not pass through the player body so like this at the shooting area then assign it right here and once you do that click on the police officer and then click on add component right here we will add the rigid body and if we check our AI character rigid body right here we can just click on copy component then click on police officer and right here click on paste component values that's it after this we will add the capsule collider to this police officer and then we will click on edit make the center y value 1 make the radius 0 0.3 and the height will be 2 and let's move this a little bit up here okay and once this is done just click on the player as you can see right here we have the player for now the wanted level is not checked okay and make sure that your wanted level are also not checked and then click on the police officer let me open up the police officer script and change into debug mode so that we can see the police officer current moving speed if you play the game you will notice the current moving speed of the police officer is 0 0.9 it means that the police officer is walking inside the waypoints as you can see the police waypoints is changing 
right here in the police navigator for now the current waypoint is 44 and it will now change to 45 i guess okay now if you click on player and let's activate the level one now as you can see the police officer is coming towards the player and as you can see now it is shooting the player and as you can see the current going speed is zero and the reason the police officer is playing this animation this is because we didn't have added the animation by script so that's why he is playing just the walking animation for everything for shooting and running as you can see but now as you can see the police officer stops away from the player and it shoots the player now if you click on the player you will see the present health of the player it is decreasing and if you see the console it shows shooting player so now the police officer can damage the player now in the next video we will set the animation for our police officer and with this done i will see you guys in the next one